What up, y'all? Welcome back. Hope you're having a good Monday. I know we are because we got some new music. Hey. We're super excited to talk uh, to you about it. But before we get started, hit subscribe right there. You get notifications whenever we drop videos like this. My name is Teddy Moore. Hi, I'm Melissa Rios. Today we are talking about one of Melissa's favorite artists. Plus. We're talking about Drake. Drizzy Drake dropped two new songs. When to say when, Chicago freestyle. So being that you rock with Drizzy, what do you think about the projects? The I'm, songs, I'm sorry. I mean, leave alone the songs. He not only gave them to us, he packaged them both in a video on YouTube. And since I'm a visual, that's the first thing I did. Mm. I went into YouTube and I checked it out right now. It's actually trending number one in YouTube. And I really liked it. I liked when to say when. I felt like he was speaking a little bit more about, like, he even mentioned his baby mama. And right. I literally, on the air, when we dropped the song, was like, oh, how dare he say that she's a <laughs> fluke? I was like, what does a fluke mean? I literally had to google what he was trying to say about her i guess we'll never know but i really really liked chicago freestyle chicago freestyle is really really dope he, i liked it he uh catches eminence of uh, flow and superman i actually got the quote right here but i do know one thing though women they come they go saturday through sunday monday monday through sunday go oh. actually when eminem dropped superman i really wasn't a fan of that song but i hear when drake rap it in his in his tone and his, under this beat like I was like, okay. I might have slept on Eminem, Superman a little bit. I might, might have to go back and, you know, you know, just re-listen to that one. Um, but I thought it was dope. And super, I don't know if this is coincidental or not. This probably has nothing to do with it. Maybe everyone in the OVO camp might think I'm dumb and I'm wrong for this. And it's just a coincidence. But referencing Superman and then dropping a song on February 29th, which is actually Superman, the character's birthday, uh, it's kind of cool. If, if it Clark wasn't... Kent? Clark Kent, yeah. If it was not... Well, yeah. If it, if it was intended... That's awesome. That's some next level. Like, all right, I see well, you, Drake. Nothing's ever a coincidence with Drake, honestly. And no. we also have to look into why he quoted Eminem because Eminem has been receiving a lot of backlash lately. Mm. So it's kind of like, what's behind this? Is he saying, I stand with Eminem? Is he a big fan? Or did he just quote him just because? But like I said earlier, I don't think it was a coincidence. I think Drake is like very calculated in everything he does. Well, listen, you know what? You're, you're a Drake fan. I love Drake's music. Um, but I am very hard on him when I come to like, you know, like certain things that he does. I really do like when to say when. I know it's hard for me and maybe you out there to look at the video without laughing a bit because of the behind the scenes stuff. Uh -huh. Listen, Marcy's Projects is a dangerous place. Drake probably saw something. He was like, what's going on? If you look shook in the behind the scenes video, that's what it is. What it is. So it's hard for me to take the video series but the music is amazing i like introspective drake i love the 9 a.m in dallas 5 a.m in toronto the drive day club paradise i like that when he's rapping about what's going on in his life i think that's what made drake so amazing when he first came out because if, if him cuddy j cole were like the first transparent rappers they were really showing you what, what they were going through regardless of how you felt or not so i like hearing drake rap about me moms maybe him not trusting his circle for whatever reason baby mama you you alluded to earlier I like that stuff. I think that's what makes Drake so amazing because he can give you, he can sing, he can sing, he can do that old singing stuff, but that old Drake, that rapping Drake, that Drake that maybe right now you're not liking because you don't want to hear old Drake, dog, let me tell you, old Drake is fire. That's when he's rapping and he's hitting you with some shit to go. Mm. Well, a lot of people were saying that actually on Twitter because he was also trending on Twitter of like, this sounds like the old Drake. And guys, there's nothing wrong with the old Drake. We like, well, I like old hey. Drake. I think it's good. When artists come up with new music, great. They're growing. They're being different. But if they go back to what brought them up, what made them, you know, what made you like them, I, I don't know. I'm okay with the old. Hey. I'm okay with the new. You know what's crazy is like people always complain. Like when 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 people would tell Jay Z, "Yo, why don't you rap like like how you used to rap? Uh -huh. like, give me that old that old Jay." Jay was like, "Yo, you want my old shit? Buy my old albums." And now Drake is giving you some old shit, and now y'all complaining We want the too. new stuff. What is it, y'all? Comment down below. Let us know what you want. If you like it, if you're feeling it or not, comment down below. Let us know what you think. I will tell you this. If the music sounds like this for his new album, I'm excited. Is That's he giving us something new? I think so. What y'all think about that new Drake? Let us know. And we're going to catch you tomorrow. All right?